What's up, Growth Hackers? Today, we're going to review Longtail Pro, which just got listed on AppSumo. This is an old company, apparently, and it basically helps you identify longtail keywords uh, within minutes. So without further ado, let's get started. We're going to start by taking a look at the AppSumo deal itself. So again, it just went live today. Um, looks like there's five different tiers and we'll go through them. I just got the first tier and I uh, will test it out. And if it's good, we can upgrade. And if not, then we can uh, get a refund. So uh, basically, this is again generating long tail keywords for SEO. I think everybody knows what that is. Uh, let's just scroll down to the deal itself. So here we can read the deal terms. And again, you guys know what I like to do in terms of reviewing this stuff. Uh, typically, we're going to look at the reviews, which right now it's not very good. Uh, obviously, there's only three reviews, um, but we also look at the questions and whether the founder is actively answering them or not. So let's take a look at that. So this is a lifetime access. Let's just scroll down and skim this. So unlimited domains, unlimited keywords. Okay, unlimited is always great, but you want to look for the numbers here uh, for the actual limits. So it looks like 500 backlink rows per 24 hours. I don't know what that means. And then here are some other limits as well. So a thousand page pages per crawl and 10 crawls per day. So 10 or a, yeah, 10,000 pages crawled per day. Here you can see each license tier is the same. The only difference is the keyword lookups per month. So right now we only have 5,000 and at the highest tier, if we were to go there, which I doubt we will, it's 100,000 keywords per month and 100 projects. So. So far so good let's take a look at the reviews real quick we'll start with that this guy says don't these these reviews were all these reviews and questions were all posted today so they're quite relevant this plan does not allow rank tracking nor backlink tracking uh the description should really provide that info so 26 people found this helpful um Okay, so it looks like they're starting to reply now. So earlier when I checked, they weren't replying. So let's see what they say. We sincerely apologize for the inconvenience. A support ticket has been created for our devs to manually set up the credential allowances for your backlink analysis and rank tracker tools. We have experienced an unusual spike in signups and account creations today. Uh, so it looks like it was just an issue with his account, maybe. So that's good. Um, this person's rating at a five, so... They're saying they will never cease their commitment and continually approving their system. So we'll actually review that in a second. I have uh, I have some feedback on that. Okay, so they answered some stuff, which is great. Um, I was actually going to say that they're not answering questions, but it looks like since they just got listed, they just got to it. So we really, we want to see them start answering some of these questions and maybe I'll do a follow up video. So make sure you like and subscribe um, and check back and we'll see if they address a lot of these concerns because this is really where all the issues are. So look at this guy, uh, 11 questions, uh, which are very relevant and no answer yet. So keep looking if they've started and yeah, they haven't even started answering these yet so maybe we'll check back and again like this video and subscribe and I'll, I'll do a further review video so that's that let's take a look at the website itself discover longtail pro you guys know that i'm an angel investor as well i made all my money in 2016 sold over 50 million dollars in e-commerce sales so i know a thing or two about business i like to also break down websites you'll see that on my crypto channel superhero crypto channel ninja so go subscribe to that one as well where i break down new projects based on world-class copywriting design and marketing and then growth hacking and tokenomics on that channel but let me break down this one uh in terms of how they're doing this so i would like to see the video up top typically and i would like to see the founder talk about why this uh, product exists and what makes it better than other competitions um so i would highly suggest that let's see discover long tail pro keywords in minutes to raise your site high in google search rankings okay so that's clear Easily find comp less competitive keywords. Great. Very clear. Um, I did play this video. Now, I don't love Fiverr videos like this. Again, I lo love to see the founder. And to add to the fact, this video is quite old. So I actually clicked on their YouTube. And what I found was their last video they posted was a year ago. And that's not good at all. So this is the founder. I would have, if you got listed on AppSumo, why didn't you just do... Uh, a late a new video just talking about what you guys have planned if there was any updates since a year ago this is what i don't like to see you never want to see uh companies slack on their social media that just means they're they've halted or they're not upgrading their uh product and improving it to keep up with all the other competition out there so let's subscribe to this and hopefully they do make an updated video based on uh our requests 
So here, I thought this could use some work in terms of the copy. Compete, reflect the most effective method in organic Google organic listings. So that's poor grammar. Um, become a long tail pro expert. Okay, so they definitely need some help with the copywriting. Um, if they want to hire me, they can reach out to the email in the description below. Uh, we have a world class copywriting team as well that can help. So you can see the, the pricing here. Obviously, we're not going to get this. That's why we're on the lifetime deal. There's a bunch of limitations and it's also quite I mean, it's not expensive compared to the competitors like SEM rush and stuff like that. But yeah, I feel like their website could definitely be out updated. It looks kind of old school and uh, looks like they're posting a Pat Flynn review. I don't know when he did this, but it's probably a year or many years ago. Okay, so that's that. Let's take a look at the tool itself. So this is the first time I'm actually using it. So forgive me if I stumble uh, around, but again, a lot of you will be first time users of this tool. So um, let's take a look. Okay, so first we land on the dashboard and here we can see monthly keywords remaining. So we have 5,000 um, rank tracking terms remaining disabled. So this is what that guy was probably talking about that they need to enable this for us. Um, so I guess we'll have to email them, which is kind of a pain that their onboarding wasn't automatic. Okay. So keyword research, let's start with this. Um, in this case, we're going to start with scarf. So I have a luxury silk and wool scarf company. Let's type in scarf and see what happens. Suggestions per keyword. So you can go up to 400. Uh, in this case, we will do 20 and see what happens. Let's see how fast this is. Okay, so got some results already. Looks like it's uh, still thinking. So the kind of stuff we can see here is the volume of searches per month, the average bid for ads, number of words. So this is really low. I wonder if this is still updating. That can't be right. And what's this? Here you can get 20 AdWord suggestions for uh, the keyword. And this you can show in Google. Here you can start. So that's pretty cool. It's taking a while to think. I don't know if it's done yet, but this is only for 20. So let's see. Okay, so some of these. Yeah, I don't know why the words show so low. Maybe it's still thinking. What else can we do here while we're waiting? Not too sure why it's taking so long. Anyways, let's try clicking on one of these. So what would be relevant? Let's see. Just click on scarf itself. What can we do here actually? Let's click on scarf. Um, pair, uh, competi compet competition analysis is not yet available. So, okay. so it's taking quite a while. Um, I don't know if I can navigate away from this page and lose it. Let's see. Let's click on competitor keywords, manual keywords. Okay. So all of this is still loading here. You can create a different layout, I guess. Okay. Let's move away from this and hopefully it still thinks about it. SERP, uh, add some keywords to achieve competitor analysis. So let's go again, scarf. Okay, so you can see 90,000 monthly searches, average KC, number of 0 of 10 measures how difficult it is. Um, so 47 and it's red, so I assume that's quite difficult. Strongest competitor is Wikipedia, ranks number 6. Trust flow, citation flow. Okay, so we have basically a red for most of these other than this one. So uh, what can we do here? I guess that's it. How much you can do here, I guess. You can export this. Okay, cool, but not sure. Not like there's an actionable thing that we can do there. The rank tracking. Separate multiple keywords and new lines. Let's do scarf. And do luxury scarf. 
Um, the domain URL will go scarflings. Tracking daily. Cool. Now what? Add project. That didn't work, so let's see. Scarfs. Luxury scarf. Dot com. Don't know why it's like that. I don't know what's disabled. Okay, so this is not the best user experience so far. Oh, okay, so this is the module that was disabled. I'm pretty sure we bought it, so we'll need them to enable it. Um, backlink analysis, let's go scarflings.com. Again, disabled, so that sucks. Site audit, scarflings. This would be one of the main modules. Um, let's see if this does a good job. Let's actually message them and say, my rank tracker working. Disabled. Let's see how long it takes them to get back to us. So the way that if you're analyzing tools, the way that support replies to you, their fr their politeness, how fast they get back to you is going to be all key in whether a, a product is quote unquote good or not, because most people experience issues, they'll need some help and uh, customer support really makes or breaks a company. So we'll see if they can even reply uh, while we're on this review. Okay, I don't know what that did. Okay, so that just saved the chat, which is a very interesting feature. I don't know. Closes. Okay, so number of pages to crawl per audit. Do 10. Delay. Minimum delay. Source. Website. Set masks. Optional. And an email report once audit is done. Let's try that. This may take a minute. Let's try navigating away from this and going back to our keyword research. Okay. Yeah, I'm not too sure why words, what this means. Words, the total amount of words in the keyword. This column provides, this column is provided so you can filter and sort by the number of words. So I guess this has 20 keywords. This specific link, competition analysis not done yet, what does update mean? Refreshing data for the search term will use one of your keyword searches, okay. I mean, it should have already been doing that, right? Okay, so for some of them, I was able to click on this. So let's take a look at this, small neck scarf. Um... It does take a while, so they have 400 uh, keywords would have taken much longer. We only did 20. Average keyword competitiveness, so 47. I'm assuming you'd want to search for something, yeah, that says 25 to 30. So we didn't see any of those. Here we see a 30. So what does this mean? I guess we can target this one then. Small next scarf. So I guess let's star this. Since it's great. I'm assuming this is how people would use this tool. So far the tool is a little bit slow for me. Go back to the site audit. Finish sync results. So here we can view it. Site health, 93%. Oh, that's good. Errors, zero. Warnings, 36. Notices, what's notices? The number of notices detected on your website during the last audit. Although notices are not considered issues, so I guess they're, they're less important than even warnings. Okay. Top issues, 10 pages contain frames. 10 images don't have alt attributes. Okay, that's cool. 
So this is a Shopify website, which probably has less issues than a WordPress website. So let's take a look at the issues. I don't know what a frame is. Obviously meta descriptions are easy to fix. Eight pages don't have an H1. Let's take a look at this. So these eight pages, eight pages don't have an H1. And so I guess we can go ahead and fix that. That's awesome. One page has more, more than one H1 tag. Okay, good to know. Processing. That's normal. My homepage has more than one H tag, H1 tag. That's fine. I'm just happy there's not a lot of red. <laughs> Although for this video, it probably would have been good. Okay, let's see what else we can find. Statistics. Coming soon. Well, looks okay so you can compare the uh, different history of so how if you fix some issues in a day that's pretty cool let's progress okay so again through history you can see the the different progresses okay that's awesome um can you export this stuff If you're doing it for clients, it doesn't look like there's a feature. Um, and we could have crawled more pages as well. Sorry, we were unable to retrieve competition data for Ralph Lauren. Okay, so weird. Let's go back to that. Didn't we have all our keywords? There we go. You have to switch the view to your favorites here. Okay, so it looks like maybe they're still not done yet. So there's only a few we can click on. Let's click on scarf. It should be done. And 47 is a little bit hard to rank for. What's this mean? The SERP availability score shows you what percentage of the first page results are organic. These include the regular organic searches. Okay, so mostly search organic that makes sense i guess you maybe wouldn't want to rank for things that are high in ads not too sure what the use of this is maybe somebody can let me know down in the comments um what else do they have that seems pretty basic the site audit maybe the when they enable the rank tracker in the backlink analysis we'll have another thing that we can analyze but so far it's i mean it's whatever if you want a basic kind of um Keyword searcher, I guess it's pretty good. I'll be doing more review videos uh, today, uh, literally on all the AppSumo deals. I'll have like six more videos, so make sure you like and subscribe. But so far, I would say my rating for this video is... I give this about a three out of five right now, just based on my initial uh, review.